This is the login screen of the software. Every employee will be logging in through this screen. We will now click on the login button. You are now being prompted for a password. You can either put the manager's password that is full access to the software, or you can input your employee password, which may have limited access in some areas of the software, depending on how much access you have granted to a certain employee. In this case, because it is the first time you are running the software and there haven't been any security settings applied, the manager's password, which by default is 123, will already be entered. We will now click OK to gain access to the software.